I'm Angela and welcome back. Today I want to talk about what happens to your body or to you even and your mental health after seven days of no alcohol. What are the short-term benefits? Um, and this is speaking from experience here as well. So my question to you is, have you ever wondered what would happen if you stopped drinking alcohol for just one week or have you ever tried it? Um, so are you curious about the short-term benefits of giving your body a break from alcohol as well? Now I've just for sort of personal reference here, I gave up alcohol in, when was it, 31st of December 2020. So I have been alcohol free for three years now. So before that, I basically, I tried to stop drinking for, well, I knew, I've, I've basically been binge drinking since I was a teenager, um, but never really sort of faced up to the fact that I had a problem. I didn't see it as a problem, as many people don't, and a lot of people do not have a problem. I'm not saying everyone's got a problem with alcohol. I'm not one of those um, ex-drinkers that thinks everyone's got a problem with alcohol, although I do think it's hiding things for some people, um, but that's just my personal and professional opinion. This is more for people that have just wondered what it's like to give up drinking, from what would happen if you stopped drinking for a week. So you're curious about this, the short-term benefits and giving your body a break from alcohol. That's particularly what this video is about. So if it isn't and you don't wanna know, carry on scrolling. So these days, and this was something that I really struggled with for quite a long time, was that alcohol is just a common part of social life. So you're seen as being um, weird if you don't drink compared to if you do drink. I, I know now that sort of I go, oh, why don't, why don't you drink? Why don't you drink? You know, and she's like, oh, I don't really want to know, to be quite honest with you. Even sort of moderate consumption can have notice effects on your mind and your body. I have noticed my Every, everything has improved since I've stopped drinking. Now, I'm not here to tell you to stop drinking. That's not what this video is about. This is more just about um, the effects of what happens to your body um, from not drinking for seven days. So just taking a short break from alcohol can reveal surprising changes in your health um, as well as your well-being. So many people just don't even realise um, how quickly their body can start to recover from alcohol effects in just seven days. So you experience significant improvements in your memory, physical appearance as well, like your face, like even so the first couple of days after I stopped drinking, I noticed the bloatedness in my face had gone as well, um, as well as I was sleeping better, my moods weren't as bad, you know, that's all just in, in seven days. So an understanding these short-term benefits can probably motivate you to sort of make a healthier, a healthier choice, uh, maybe your drinking habits if they're a bit too much. But, and, that, and that's not, I'm not saying everybody's is, let me make that very clear. I don't expect everybody to stop drinking, although personally, it's, you know, it's been the best decision I've ever made. So, continuing with binge drinking, which is the kind of thing that I used to do. So some days I, would, I wouldn't drink for a couple of days, other days I'd drink bottles of wine. Just continuing to do that without breaks can lead to a really negative effect on your liver, on your mental clarity and your overall health. And there's lots of things that I didn't even realise that, um, that were affecting me. Like I, I think I had blood tests done not short after and I was very low on vitamin B12. Now, as Mary serves me, it takes quite a long time for your vitamin levels of B12 to deplete. Um, years, in fact. So through years of drinking, I'd managed to deplete one of the most um, important B vitamins that you have in your body. Um, I've managed to do that through drinking. So just something to consider. And sort of without giving your body time to recover, you can miss out on feeling more energetic, focused and even more healthy. And since I stopped drinking, and this was more long term, this wasn't within a week, um, I noticed my productivity um, just shut up. I, I was I was able to get so much more done. And, you know, even three years later now, I wouldn't even consider going back to drinking. It's, and my other half said to me a couple of weeks ago, you know, if you found out that you're going to die, happy thoughts. If you found out that you were going to, you know, you, you, you had three weeks left to live, would you drink? And my answer was a definite no. It's not anything that ever enhanced me. If anything, now I look back on it, it just made my life worse. So definitely not. I wouldn't, you know, that's how much, that's how strongly I don't want to drink now. And if you know me before, I was a party, Angela. I used to drink all the time. So by no means am I sitting here on my high horse saying that you should stop drinking. Um, I, I can I wholeheartedly say after three years of not drinking, I wouldn't even think about it now. Like I even, I, I had my, my other half drinks. So I can be around people that drink. I couldn't start off with. I'm not going to make any mistake about that. But I choose not to go to places where people are drinking. I don't go to pubs. I don't enjoy that kind of atmosphere. Um, uh, unless it's sort of meeting people for dinner. I don't go to just go and meet for a drink. I'm like, well, you can come around here. 
you know, I don't need to go out to, to pubs. It's just not somewhere that I want to be around those sort of people. So if you are really struggling with it and you even for a week, don't go to pubs. It's only seven days, isn't it? If you want to give your body a break for a bit, um, don't go to places where there's going to be alcohol. Simple really one of the main things that i noticed as well uh was improved sleep so you know it, within a week of no alcohol uh you might just end up finding that you've got improved sleep, um, improved sleep quality as well because it disrupts your sleep cycle alcohol so you think like you've, you've had a like a really nice good night's sleep but i mean i wear a fitbit so i can tell and i used to be able to tell when i used to give up drinking for a couple of days you can look on your on, on any app and it will see you can see that you've had a lot more deep sleep than you've had um you know uh, than you've had normal sleep so uh, the effectiveness of your sleep and your recovery in your body dramatically improves so you get a deeper sleep basically and more restorative sleep as well so better hydration so alcohol is a diuretic so you lose a lot more water um it can dehydrate you and then without that your, your body can maintain better hydration but hydration levels so leading to healthier skin and more energy so that was that was a major bonus as well so enhanced mental clarity so you can experience mental clarity and focus i've already sort of mentioned that as well but i just want to really highlight that that you you just you're able to think clearer alcohol can fog your mind basically and and just make your cognitive function slower. Obviously, that's why drink driving is illegal in this country. And it boosts your mood as well. Many people can just find that they're, you know, even a short time of not drinking, um, your mood just gets better. You're not as moody, you're not as, you know, and I just think back now, God, the amount of times that I was probably moody with my daughter when she was growing up because I was hungover. Um, it just improves, improves your mood dramatically and your overall sort of sense of well-being as well. So, it affects your brain's chemistry, chemistry. Make no mistake, alcohol affects your brain's chemistry. So removing it will help stabilise your emotions. So if you're feeling particularly down, drinking definitely doesn't help. And if you're struggling with your mental health, alcohol, cut it out. It might not be it might not be sort of great to start off with, and I'm not going to make any mistake about that. You, you could struggle to start off with and, and think that that's down to your drinking. But believe me, when you actually stop drinking for a long time, um, or even, you know, this video is just about seven days. I keep getting myself carried away here. It really does help with your mental clarity as well. If you're struggling with appetite control and cravings for food. So without alcohol, you might notice a, a like, reduced cravings for unhealthy food. You know, the day after you've had a big night, you want, might want to like go out and eat uh, macas, for example, or just really crappy fat horrible food that doesn't do you any favours and it's kind of a vicious cycle because you're eating you're drinking loads of alcohol which is not great for you and then you're then topping that up with like pizza or mcdonald's or anything that's really badly bad food junk food basically the next day so it can interfere with your hunger signals as well so another reason to you know just try for a short time see how you feel and also low blood pressure so your blood pressure can lower. So even with just a week, and I remember trying this before I went to the doctors and they're very quick to give you um, all of this medication for high blood pressure. And I remember the doctors saying to me, oh, look, we're going to put you on blood pressure tablets. I was like, mm, perhaps I'll come back in a week and um, stop drinking. And, and I did do this. Um, I said to the doctor that I'll come back in a week and I will have my blood pressure back to normal because I kept an eye on those kind of things because... That's just the kind of thing I did. And basically within a week, I'd love my blood pressure. And funnily enough, I didn't need any any drugs. So if that's something that you're um, that you're suffering with a high blood pressure, then giving up drinking will dramatically. And I used to smoke as well. So drinking and smoking, two of the major things that doctors then want to put you on tablets for. You can reduce yourself just by giving up drinking and smoking for a week and you can lower your blood pressure and then you won't need any drugs. It's a no brainer. So just try taking a seven day break. And you, I mean, if you start, this is one thing that I used to do before I took a break um, for seven days is I used to take all my stats. So I don't know if you wear a Fitbit or if you've um, got a blood pressure machine, just take all, all statistics like that. Right. So give up drinking for a week and then have a look at your stats. Right. And then tell me that you don't see any change because I can guarantee that you will. You'll see a reduction in your blood pressure, even if you've got like I wasn't necessarily, I didn't have an unhealthy blood pressure. I think it was probably because um, I was still quite active and um, I did a lot of exercise. So I was still in the, it wasn't bad for my age then. Um, and then within seven days, when I stopped drinking, it literally dropped like, so I was, I was an athlete apparently by then. 
probably not true but at the end of the day it really did help with my blood pressure and um and you know really did give me a, a really help with the break from it so taking a seven day break from alcohol can bring a range of positive changes to you and um from better sleep to hydration to lower blood pressure mental clarity and mood so they're really short-term benefits and you can but you can really from just giving up for seven days you can see all of these massive health benefits so if it's something you're really struggling with or you need that kind of proof to help you along your journey to stopping drinking full stop just a seven day circuit breaker can really help so it's quite a long-winded way of me just trying to um trying to influence you to basically stop drinking for seven days and just see how much better you feel something that you know just it, it might just help you along your journey if you're struggling with drinking and you just want to try and see the health benefits of seven days of stopping drinking i think seven days is a really good amount of time for you to be able to see some really really quick benefits and that might then lead you on to deciding that you don't want to you want to completely stop drinking that's a whole nother ball game but anyway this is for the seven days give it a go let me know how you get on and if you need any help give me a shout thanks for watching